Hey guys, welcome to episode number 431. Today is Thursday, so I have some more aquarium news for you. Top story of the day is Cichlid Evolution Explained. A story published this week in phys.org detailed the work of a University of Wyoming researcher who helped an international team explain how more than 700 species of Lake Victorian cichlids evolved over the past 150,000 years. Catherine Wagner from UW explained that this rapid evolution of so many species happened through the hybridization of two distantly related cichlid species from the Upper Nile and the Congo drainage systems. When these two common ancestors successfully hybridized, it set off a chain reaction allowing the 700 distinct species to evolve in such a short period of time. Fish hobbyists often like to discourage hybridization in captivity, but this example in the wild explains how all of the Victorian cichlids came to be. Nature's pretty amazing, and it goes to show how important genetic diversity really is. The next story is Aquarium Bombs? Question mark. Evolution Aqua, an aquarium brand best known for K1 Caldness Biomedia, recently launched a new product called the Pure Aquarium Bomb. It's a single, large, gel-filled ball with millions of beneficial bacteria to seed the filter of a new aquarium and prevent new tank syndrome. It also rapidly combats water quality emergencies or overstocking by providing a boost to your nitrifying bacteria population. Smaller gel balls have been on the market for a while, but this giant aquarium bomb is a first for the aquarium hobby. You can learn more by visiting the link below. The next story is snakeheads invade Virginia waters. This week, Virginia officials announced that the highly invasive snakehead fish has found its way into Virginia waters. The snakehead, which is native to Eastern Asia, has been spreading like a plague across U.S. waterways. It's big, it's mean, and it's a top predator. Virginia recently introduced a bill to increase penalties and fines for keeping, transporting, or releasing snakeheads, which sounds like a good idea, but it may not solve the problem. There are a few hobbyists on the fringe of fish keeping who delight in collecting the biggest and meanest fish, and the snakehead is often at the top of that list. It's our responsibility as hobbyists to know the laws and protect Mother Nature against invasive species. And the last story for the day is Angry Octopus? Question mark. Final story comes from a storyful post titled Angry Octopus Charges Scuba Diver. It's a video clip that made its way around the news outlets this week showing what appears to be a Maori octopus being followed by a scuba diver. The octopus keeps its distance, tries a few tricks to intimidate the diver, and then decides to simply swim away. Octopi are fascinating animals, perhaps the smartest invertebrates on the planet. Whoever came up with the Attack of the Killer Octopus headline may need to take it down a notch and observe the true intent of such a wonderful creature. For more underwater footage like this, go subscribe to Pink Tank Scuba on YouTube. And that's your aquarium news for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in next week for some more aquarium news. Until then, stay curious, and I'll see you guys later.